feel like we're crossing through a threshold with you. Yes! We're like, we got you out of your seats now. Sit back down in the no. quiet section. Um, all right, we're gonna just do a couple oh. of. Oh God. this record feels like we're a new band and a lot of people like to talk about oh you know you used to sound like this and now you sound like this and that are your fans upset and you know we have to get into these long discussions with with people and the truth is is that it's not that we didn't feel nervous to try to, to, to change our sound or to, to um, you know to try something different it's just that and I'm not just I'm not just saying this because I want you to feel like you're responsible, but it is because of the support of our audience that we've always felt like we can try different things. And, uh, Tegan wore two ponytails tonight because she knew that this audience would be fine if she doubled up on her ponytail. people in Winnipeg are super into social media, but if tonight when you're talking about the show, if you could hashtag double pony. I know yourself right now, you're like, that's funny, but I actually really mean it because we've done it in the past where we give an audience a hashtag, and it's so funny because it's so confusing to all the other Tegan and Sarah fans. So I'm like, why the hell is everyone hashtagging Tegan and Sarah the new air supply? But I promise you, it's funny. So when you hashtag the show tonight, what are you going to call it? by Sentimental Sarah. Oh. <laughs> Evolution! Thank you, Vera. No, so... <laughs> I like, thank you, ma'am. She's like, Evolution. <laughs> um, you guys have been so supportive to us over the years that we haven't, we haven't felt, uh, we haven't felt like we were gonna lose you if we tried different things. And it's been, uh, it's been really exciting for us. I enjoy being in a band. <laughs> more now than I ever did in 18 years and even tonight I can tell you that I, I can remember the last couple shows we did in Winnipeg and I can tell you a couple of really bad shows that we did in Winnipeg over the years but this already stands out to me as a time where I feel uh, really grateful to be on stage in front of so many people doing something I love so thank you yeah. and to the person who is uh, who is augmenting their experience tonight with, uh... uh I haven't done that since Don't I was like, on stage, please. I haven't uh, done it since I was 18, but I feel really nostalgic with that wafting up onto stage. So, I want to dedicate this one uh, to when I had no wrinkles, and my pants were 34, and I had a huge chain, and it was 1996. And, uh, those were the... The good old days. <laughs>
my heart, then call me back. I imagine you, yes, I was distant, not consistent. I followed suit and laid out on my back. Imagine that. A million hours left to think of you and think of that. Calm down, I'm calling you to say, I'm casting.